we have a Maven project that runs, and all it does is say sup. I added another method, which is super easy math method, just adds A and B and returns the result. Now, obviously, there's a typo. It's currently going to add A and A and then return that. I want to run a J unit test on this. And to do that, I hit save first. We're going to go tools, create update tests. Now I'm going to leave all of this checked right here. The class name, if you notice, it's the same class as the project or the Java file that I wanted to test. It just adds by default test at the end of the name. So just keep that in mind. That's the default, which is totally fine. And I'll leave it all here checked the way it is. Hit OK. So it opened or created a test package right here. So let's check that out. And it looks like there's some errors in it. Okay. We have a lot of this that we don't actually need for our test. So I'm just going to comment all these out. I don't need all these. All right. I don't need to test main. I really just wanted to test some. So I'm going to go ahead. Main doesn't return anything or do anything significant. So I don't really care about that. And now we're going to go ahead and see what was created by default for test sum. So test sum is the name of the method. This is not terribly important uh, other than to tell us it's testing sum. I could call this anything I wanted. It's going to print out the method name. This is all created by default. It's created two integers, A and B. They're both zero, not very exciting. And the result is zero. And here's where this line of code is where a new object of this class will be created. This class is called Maven Project 1. Not a great name for a class. I should not have uh, had the word project in there, but that's OK. So it creates a new Maven project. And if you notice, this is not static. So you need to create a class to test it. So it creates an object of that class called instance. And right here, this is instance.sum. So this is where that method is actually called. And the result is uh, saved. Whatever this sum returns is saved in result. And then there's a special method here called assert equals. And this is uh, comes from JUnit. And it compares the expected result to the actual result. Now let's go ahead and change this to actual result. Why didn't that refactor? Refactor, rename, control R. OK. That's not what I want. Anyways, result is fine. Uh, we're going to compare these two. And you're going to find out what happens if they're equal. If you hit run, that's not the way. That's going to run the public static void main we selected. So you don't want to hit run. There may be another option here. No. Uh, we want to go to tools. No, right click. There we go. Test file. Control F6. I don't know if that's up on the, the buttons up here to run, but it's a little tricky. It's Control F6. And you can click anywhere inside. I believe you can do it on the test or the original file. Uh, yeah, so you can do right click on the original file and test file. Now, I'm going to have to download some stuff for the first time. And we're going to have to wait for this to happen. Uh, that's a little weird. Test pass zero. Why did I not? Ah, probably because I didn't pay attention to this. This line of code, if you leave this in, it's going to say failed. What you would normally do is wrap this line of code in an if statement, 
and you can, under certain conditions, you can say that it failed. I am going to take that out and, again, just right-click and test file. I believe that saves it automatically, too. We'll find out real quick if it doesn't. Ah, there we go. Test passed, 100%. All right, so that test was so trivial that my incorrect sum was not detected. So let's write a more significant test that will actually uncover the problem. So I'm going to duplicate everything in here. Control shift down. You're not allowed to have the same method name, so I'm just going to put a one at the end of it. Uh, the, uh, as I said, the method name is not important. The method it's going to test is sum and it's going to create an object and then run the sum method. All right, so this is two trivial, zero and zero. So let's go with a two and with a three. And expected result is five because we're awesome at addition. There we go. We're going to run this again. Let's see what we get. Remember, I intentionally messed up the sum method. Uh-oh, what happened? Looks like I duplicated it twice. That's weird. Don't remember doing that. All right, so we got test sum and test sum one. And that should have gotten rid of, yeah, it got rid of our error. Okay, so we're gonna test the file. I don't know what happened, why there was a third test sum method in there. All right, test pass, 50%. That's what I was expecting. So there's a couple ways to see the results. Uh, I do have my resolution set low, and you'll be able to get more, hopefully more, on your screen. But I have to do a lot of this moving around. Search and failed error. Uh, let's just look at the output. Here we go. Failed test. Expected five, but was four. All right, so and that was from, you can read test sum one. So the test sum one was the method that didn't, uh, the test method that uh, should have given us five and gave us a four. Now, why did it give us the wrong value? Because in my sum method, I added A and A. Probably should add A and B. And now I'll hit save, control S, right click, and nope, don't run file. Test file, control F6. And hopefully we pass both of them this time around. Boom, test pass 100%. All right, and you can read the output. Uh, they don't, uh, the default behavior is when you pass a test, there's nothing printed. You absolutely can put more output in here if you want to, just like you saw this sum right here. Uh, you see that's what's printed out. So I probably should call this sum one so we know that it's different, sum one. And I could just put another print statement just because I want to. We'll just do some random I am testing and then we'll go ahead and run again. Control F6. And we should see the I am testing printing out. You can display whatever extra stuff you want. Maybe you want to print out B, uh, maybe A, whatever else makes sense, but it shouldn't mess up your passing or failing tests. But when you go over to uh, the output right here, I am testing. So you see that output on the screen.